we're back with the Czech interview series. We're here with Brian Ronaldo. Um, he's an account manager at DeGal. So, hey, Brian, how you doing? How are you? How you holding Good. up? Being here helps. Working every day and putting our efforts towards the face masks uh, are definitely keeping my brain occupied. And then, you know, go home, decompress, start the day all over again, which is nice. So last time I saw you, you had a full face of hair. Could you possibly explain the mustache trend that seems to be happening? <laughs> yes. So we're obviously wearing uh, masks to keep everybody safe. And we're putting them, you know, they go right about here where my beard was. So in an effort to get the best kind of safety seal and make sure there was an extra airflow going on, I said, well, I should shave. Halfway through shaving, I said, well, I don't want to get rid of it all. And the mustache doesn't interfere with the mask. And nobody can see it because I'm wearing a mask. So why not keep it? So I said, I'm going to grow a mustache. I've never done it before um, through this whole trying time, whatever it may be, how long it is. I'm going to grow this mustache. And then at the end, I'll shave it off. But it was kind of fun for the first week having it, nobody knowing, and then like taking a sip of my water and like taking my mask off. And everybody's like, wait, you have a mustache. So uh, that's the story. Well, it looks good. You don't have to lie to me. <laughs> I'm not lying. It, it's entertaining, at least. Good. That's good. We got to have fun. We're having fun. Now's the time. Like, what better time to do something a little different, a little funky. People are stuck at home. I know people that are cutting their hair, maybe cutting their own hair. Um, you might as well have fun with it while we can. And I know that you have a personal connection to the greenhouse. Um, I don't know if you want to elaborate a bit more on yeah. your great grandfather. Sure. So yeah, my great grandfather was a plumber in World War II, about 1940, 1941-ish. He worked on um, the Missouri, which if everything I fact checked is correct, it was built or at least launched out of the greenhouse, which I mean, I kind of had an idea. He was in the Navy Yard. I dove into it, and I just couldn't believe it. I mean, looking at the pictures of, like, how the Missouri got launched, it's the same view from the greenhouse. So he was there when they needed him most, working on the ship, getting it ready, getting it out, you know, real wartime effort. And here we are today doing, like, the same kind of process. You know, we're not building a ship, but we're still, like, getting something that the people really need to keep people safe. And... It's crazy to stand there, do what we're doing, but feel like maybe we looked at the same view. It's a great view. You get a great view of the city and the bridge and thinking yeah. we saw the same thing. It's, it's gives me a little bit of goosebumps, which is cool. Also in general, if you just want to elaborate about what the masks, making the masks mean to you. It means the world to be able to stay busy and to have something to do and at the same time, help people that are saving lives. Like, there's no doubt about it. Um, they need this stuff. We're here to do it. And I could not be more proud to be a part of it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to do this interview with us. Is there another Degali that's inspiring you today? We will interview them next. Yeah, I think you should talk to Ike. It would be an interesting perspective from, you know, he's on on the press, making the prints and, you know, getting things supplies that we need and he would probably be somebody awesome to talk to.